Who asks? Jennifer and Cox shatter Meg's Hollywood illusion by snubbing Sussex's bag to their A-listed party. Recently, Kristen Bell posted snaps from a fun get-together with various celebrities in Idaho on Friday. The actress took to Instagram to share a carousel of photos of herself and her husband, Dax Shepard, having an intimate dinner with the likes of Jennifer Aniston and Courtney Cox. In the snap, the Friends star could also be seen sitting along dining tables in front of a lake at sunset alongside other A-listers, including Jason Bateman, Adam Scott, as well as John Mulaney and Olivia Munn. However, Hollywood celebrities Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are nowhere to be found. According to an insider, Meghan requested that Prince Harry contact Cox in order to obtain an invitation to the party so that she may meet and befriend other prominent A-listers. However, after consulting with the other guests, Cox determined that no one consented to allow the Sussex couple, such as Jennifer Aniston and Jimmy Kimmel, so she rejected Prince Harry's message, leaving Meghan with empty hands. Jimmy Kimmel delivered much of his opening monologue in his show Jimmy Kimmel Live not long ago to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Imagine after centuries of inbreeding, all of a sudden these people are concerned about the color of a baby's skin, Kimmel said. Prince Charles has the ears of a basset hound. They should really hope that the kid looks more like Meghan than Harry. No offense, but I mean, Harry kind of looks like the guy who played Screech. May he rest in peace. Kimmel felt that Meghan and Harry came across as genuine in the interview, except for one thing. They said they'd only watch some of The Crown, the Netflix drama about the royal family. Nobody watches some of The Crown, Kimmel joked. Once you start The Crown, you finish The Crown. As for Cox, Prince Harry once used her fame to promote his false memoir, Spare, when he admitted to seeing magic mushrooms at her mansion. About Jennifer, she and Meghan Markle have worked together in the past in the 2011 film Horrible Bosses, but the two stars reportedly didn't even come close to each other. Speaking the new idea, a source said when Meghan was cast in Horrible Bosses, she had all these visions of Jen seeing how amazing she was and becoming good friends. That didn't even come close to happening. Jen barely even noticed she was there, and Meghan was devastated to find out that her part had been cut to a mere 30 seconds. It was reported that Meghan was so upset about her part being cut that she badmouthed the whole production. The star apparently said she wanted to be the future Miss Pitt, referring to Jennifer's then-husband, Brad Pitt. Last year, Jennifer paid $15 million for Oprah Winfrey's estate in the upmarket town of Montecito on the Californian coast. As a result, Meghan and Harry not being invited to this party is a good thing. Meghan and Harry would be very out of place here amongst the gifted and hardworking. Her fakeness, her silly, seductive, oh, saintly act would be even more obvious. It would be so embarrassing for whoever she spoke to, and it would have ruined everything if they had been there. I'm relieved for everyone that they weren't. The guest looks genuinely happy. Alongside emojis of a now snow-capped mountain and an orange heart, the Veronica Mars alum captioned the post, Idaho Chapter 1. While vacationing in the scenic state, the Good Place star also posted adorable snaps with her husband and their two daughters, Lincoln and Delta. Other stars that were seen dining with the couple included CNN anchor Jake Tapper, film writer Jim Curcio, and television personality Jimmy Fallon. The group of celebrities appeared to be gathered at the South Fork Lodge for a picturesque dinner outside in nature. Belle also shared a sweet selfie of herself and her husband, enjoying some alone time and a hike at sunset.